Hey guys, Taro here bringing you a tour of you today. We are on Eindhoven country. Playing for you today is Lips046, playing as Soviet Union, spawning on the north. Teamed up with him is Petrior. Petri Petrichor. Petrichor. <laughs> playing as US forces. And playing for the Axis, we've got a mixed Axis team here. Is Rooted, playing as Austere, and I like cute bunnies. Playing as OKW. You see that our Petrichor is putting down some wire around this fuel point. I wonder if you can get some capping in that tiny little gap there. Quite popular to see people trying to wire this approach off. And we saw on the other day, the yeah, Paul was actually wired, wired this off here and left this open. I think it's more viable to wire this off in 2v2. So you have a bit more... Well, you don't have to do as much capping by yourself on this map. You can uh, ally and cap the other half of the map. Leaving you more open to construct that wire. Constructs run into this cube will get suppressed. This other squad comes around the side. There's a nice heavy cover here, so that cube will have a hard time suppressing the constructs by cover. Cube bunnies making the approach on the combat engineers. Stem is definitely going to win that engagement. Got a rifle squad here waiting to engage. Here they come. Looks like he's trying to flank that MG42. He's managed to force it to reposition at the very least. Three echelons come around from the side. Is this rifle going to get suppressed in front of the MG though? Oh, he just clears it in the nick of time there. Gets around this arc of fire before the MG gets a burst off. And uh, that's going to be a Nash retreat from a rooted. Rifles engaging grenadiers in the centre. Here comes the Contracts joining in on the front. We see uh, tier 2 has gone down from Lips. MG squad awaiting orders. Rouge has begun the tech. No, uh, no headquarters yet from cute bunnies. Rifles take this engagement here on the left and uh, continue their march through the center, engaging these folks in this uh, garrison here. Here comes the Kubel. Maxim sets up to engage it. Maxim does quite a lot of damage to the Kubel, so this will be an interesting engagement. Forces the Kubel to retreat. Here comes some stern pioneers flanking that Maxim though. Too much uh, concentrated firepower and the threat of this other second Maxim setting up. Forced those stern pioneers to retreat. Here an MG42 opening up. Here it is on those rifles. Oh, if he just left that set up, he might have actually been able to wipe that squad. With the MG42 there on retreat. Maxim sitting up at uh, pretty much max range, blasting away at that garrison. Oh, long range rifle grenade almost wipes that squad there. And goes Molotov, out come the uh, Fox squads in there, but it doesn't matter. It's pretty much a mass retreat now from the Allies in the center. It's this there's such a large concentration of Fox and regular Grandis. Oh, and down goes a Maxim as well. That's uh, troublesome, especially if the OKW player grabs that. But you can't pick up weapons when you're suppressed, so... Maxim in the garrison here, buying a bit of time. Here come the riflemen straight down the center. They come out of suppression, now they pick it up. And goes a grenade. I think those rifles are about to get oh. blasted. I see early munitions cache going down from Pit Petri Petri Chore. 
I'm really having a lot of trouble pronouncing that name. A bit of harassment also coming on to the Axis Fuel now. And a fighting position here, that's a very curious spot for a fighting position. But it looks like it paid dividends there, suppressing that squad. Looks like some wires going down here as well, maybe he's going to wire off this cutoff, like we saw Paul do. MG42 suppresses that squad, forces the retreat. Coldscript's just on the edge of the arc of fire there. Let's see, mortar from Rooted. And Rooted has selected mobile defense. We'll give him access to the Puma. Puma seems to be a bit more useful these days, playing against the quad mount half track. Rise at five command points now, so it's six, so slightly earlier. And uh, comes to the quad mount quite well. Also, is the uh, command tank, which has received the changes. To it's uh, the way its uh, defensive buff aura works. So it's just an AOE around the command tank instead of being in the same sector as the command tank. So it's a bit more practical, really. A bit more sensible and uh, doesn't give away where your command tank is if your opponent can uh, just see the edge of that sector highlighted. It's a dead giveaway that your command tank is in that vicinity. A bit of mortars exchanging fire at the moment. And it's a heavy mortar from Leps. Enemy forces are neutralizing a and a regular mortar from Marushes. Maxim, this garrison seems to be doing a really good job so far. See uh, some bazookas. Oh no, that's, I was going to say on the right from it, but no, that's a captain back there. Stolen Maxim now turned against the allies, causing all sorts of trouble for Petrotoulis rivals. Heavy mortar <laughs> now raining down on that stolen Maxim. Don't know how long it will stay in there. Don't see any grenades tech by Petrachor though. He's got a lot of munitions in the bank. Should uh, probably have considered taking grenades. Maybe trying to rush the Stuart. And uh, that's why he's trying to save his fuel towards. But I feel like sometimes it's worthwhile. Getting the uh, grenades, getting the grenades early and using that extra early game advantage to maybe try hold on to more sectors and uh, gain back the fuel and other resources that way that you expend on taking grenades through superior map control. So we do see guard mode from Lips, still no selection of option from Petrachor and uh, Scavenge from Cute Bunnies. Here comes a big old blob from Cute Bunnies. Oh, heavy more targets a nice shell on top of those greens there. We see some Ostrup and Reserves being called in by Rooted. Looks like you got a triple vet squad here, so that's a good roll, but Neither of them have the LMGs, which they can spawn with, so it's a bit of bad luck in that respect. That's really what you want, those LMG um, are stripping. Oh, this is a tight battle, but Bruce has to retreat. Doesn't want to lose the squad to some flame crits. Wow, that Maxim, that Maxim in the house has provided so much utility for the allies so far this game. There's 
is that coming in there? Is that a major artillery? It is major artillery. And uh, being typically useless, <laughs> it doesn't hit anything as far as I can see there. So I was wrong about Petra Jaw, he's not trying to rush a uh, Stuart. Looks like he's rushed to uh, Major Tech. And uh, he's got quite a bit of fuel in the back now. Could perhaps get a Scott out pretty soon, or maybe he's going to save up for a fast Sherman. Allies are now starting to hit from map control. Got a bit of a blob coming here from Pitcher Chort. And those uh, riflemen here picked up M1919, so that's what Pitcher Chort is choosing to use his munitions on. Not a bad idea at all. Nice work there from Lips, basing these grenades into the arc of fire of the Maxim there. It looks like the Maxim got wiped there from a uh, mortar shell. And uh, maybe a bit of ISG fire, I think I heard yet. There's an infantry support gun from Q Bunnies. Captain trying to flank here, but he's in point blank range. He's getting shredded by that Maxim. Here come the rifles, though. Oh, and the mortar shell finishes the job. Down goes that stolen Maxim. This is a good opportunity for Petrotor to recruit that. Just to get out of this negative cover road though. Infiltration grenades force a retreat there. So it looks like that Maxim will fall back into the Axis hands. Here's a Puma and that's going to knock out the fighting pit that's covering the uh, Allies' fuel point. What do we just see from Lips? Okay, he has ticked up to tier 3. Got quite a bit of fuel in the bank too. Maybe thinking ticking, of ticking straight up to tier 4 and then trying to get out some uh, early T-3485s. If he does get some early T-3485s out combined with the uh, Fast, no, actually, that's a Scott, so it's not going to be a fast Sherman. So, uh, forget that. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Here's the Puma. Wrecking this cash from Pitch Chalk. Pop smoke to cover its retreat, but I don't see a. Uh, no Zis guns, and uh, pretty much only the captain at the moment for anti tank for the Allies. Of course, there are guards as well. But nothing that's gonna blast down the uh, Puma in record time. This Puma is just wrecking all of these ally caches. And all of that uh, manpower that they expended is just going straight down the toilet here. One bazooka connects there with the Puma. Forcing it to retreat, which it could now choose to call in the command tank. Has he ticked up? No, so hasn't ticked up. So, and he does so. Here comes the Panzer IV command tank. I've always been a big fan of this tank. Very good at uh, wiping infantry squads. Can do all right against light armor and uh, light tanks, but. Gets medium tanks and higher, or almost never penetrate their armor. Even their rear armor has a very hard time penetrating. Here we get to see it in action against a big old blob. This is those first two shots that's on the move. Oh, there we go. Three, sh three <laughs> rifles wiped there. My vehicle from the side. That's for command tank. A bit of trouble here. Takes easy damage from those conscripts. Just can backpedal, and uh, these rifles look like they're about to run into this MG42. Species 1 squad. Is that another cache that got destroyed there by the Puma, maybe? I'm not sure. 
This is a deep, deep flank here from Rooted though. He's going he's going balls to the wall after that Scott. Managed to pick it up, took en engine damage though, and then may get chased down. Some guards. Yes, here comes some guards. Oh, it looks like he's gonna take up the final cash though. And I think he met, will manage to get that done before he goes down. He did change targets there, and uh, now I don't think he's got. Oh, main gun destroyed. No, that cash is gonna live to provide resources for another day. Jackson roaring onto the field for Petrichor now. See, uh, Schwer HQ has gone up down here for I Like Cute Bunnies covering this uh, fuel sector and now he's pumping out a Panzer four. Nice cutoff maneuver here from Rooters. Is he using break uh, counter attack tactics? I don't think so. Yeah. Looked like that was being decapped mighty quickly. I believe there was another major artillery. <laughs> this is something you should just basically never do with your major. Costs a lot, almost never hits anything, barely does any damage. Major artillery. It should almost never be used. Anything you're better off just using the uh, fake smoke. It's likely to get some uh, results for a lot cheaper. P4 wipes that squad that was garrisoned in the uh, little shed there. Here comes the Jackson though. He needs another shot. Oh, that P4 barely did anything. Wiped the squad here and straight away went down to that Jackson. Nice positioning there from Pet Short. And also a bit unlucky for Rooted that that pack didn't land on that uh, Jackson a few more times. Now the command tank's in a bit of trouble from this Jackson. It's buttons. But uh, there's a lot of grenadiers here for support and I think that will get away alright. If we look at the victory points, we see the allies behind. Oh, here comes the Katusha Barrage. That's a close, close range Katusha Barrage. Wow! There's heaps of damage to those Grenadiers. He has to stop it before their final volley, though. Fearing that those Grenadiers were going to hunt it down. I think the CMG 42 is about to go down here. In comes uh, 105mm Howitzer uh, Barrage. This thing has quite wide scatter. Could uh, could land on one of these squads. Looks like it's scattering north rather than south. Pack did get cleared by those rifles there. Looks like those rifles may have uh, run into this. Tech structure here and uh, being forced to retreat. Crashment coming in from a squad of Ostrupen. Jackson has been repaired, so you need to remember to reactivate prioritized vehicles after you uh, get your vehicle crew out of your tank to repair it. Did see that mine going down there, should use attack ground to try and uh, knock it out. He's an SU-85 from Lips. Surprising choice. It's already a... Whoa, what is... Oh, that's okay, so we do have a priest, and that's up to 5 kills. I was going to say, a curious choice to go for the SU-85, considering there's already a Jackson for the Allies. But it looks like they're going to try to go with tank destroyers and indirect fire as their... method of getting the job done. Not a bad idea, especially if your enemy has over invested, invested in anti tank weaponry, such as packs or cachuchas. 
and use the indirect fire to bleed those weapons and then uh, just tank destroys to keep your indirect fire weapons safe. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Now it's finally going to regather their fuel. And yeah, their mine's still there. Bit bad from Petrochol there. He's already five here, he's also on super low health. Needs a squad of uh, combat engineers or two to get that bad boy back to fighting condition. In fact, I think he's gonna lose it here, maybe. No, he's uh, DP guards. Keeping it safe, and he's actually spawned some Jaeger lights back here. I'm not sure why, though, they can't do anything to this 85. Not Falsham Jaeger, they don't have a Panzerfaust. Oh, but here's the Puma. It looks like it's f trying to find an avenue to ambush this Katusha. SU 85 sitting right here, though, misses the first shot. SU 85 is uh, using crew self repair, though, so he can't do anything. And the Katusha's gonna go down. Oh my god, this is just craziness. Sometimes... Oh no, is this Puma now going to get the Priest as well? Jackson's finally coming to join in on the fun. Priest is finally moving again. Who's going to shoot first? Oh, down goes the Priest! And the uh, Puma's still alive. He's trying to, he's trying to maneuver out of here somehow. Pot smoke, try cover his tracks. There's a lot of conscripts here, a lot of guards here. And uh, the Puma's going down, but that's well worth it. Taking out a Katusha, a Priest, and an SU-85. Pretty much all of the Allies' armors, armored forces. They have a bit of uh, rage going on. <laughs> Between teammates, I believe this is a random team replay. So there's not always the best teamwork in these kind of matches. I do see that Ruta has ticked all the way to the final tier and may start construction on that shortly. He's bridged the gap quite effectively though with his Pumas and Command Tanks. In fact, I think this is the same command tank for, for the whole match, so he hasn't lost any of those. Jackson set up here in the wrong direction. He's too busy complaining in chat. Still may pick up Rooted's command P4. In comes time on target artillery. Bit too slow though. It does take a long time to arrive. And uh, yeah, I think if Petrochul was paying a bit more attention there, he probably could have knocked out this P4 command tank with his Jackson. Unfortunately, that's not the case. He's now fielded a new priest. Looks like it's bombarding this uh, Shreer HQ. It's a little bit of damage on it there. Probably not the best use of its abilities, but I suppose it's a guaranteed target at least. M1919 Rifleman, still no grenades ticked here by Pitch Troy, so they're definitely going to lose this engagement. Should probably consider of using uh, Hit the Dirt. Not Hit the Dirt, uh, Defensive Stance. I believe you can still use that whilst in combat. 
that might have helped him uh, suppress one of these squads. In fact, that uh, would have been a very good idea, really. Defensive stance, you just use it whenever you feel like. It's, <laughs> it's really good. Really, uh, turns, turns tight against LNG Grenadiers. We've dropped to 200 points. Grenades exchanged here across this castle wall. More grenades thrown in, Molotovs. Lots of indirect fire flying every which way. Priest now, oh, clears that uh, mortar there. A capture point is under attack. Wants to pick up the ISG as well. Allies now down to 168, 67 VPs. In a bit of a sticky situation there, it really needs to start getting the VPs going once more in their favour. Really, that boomer set the allies back so much, knocking out so many of their high priority targets. Not sure if the allies can recover from that. Be a good, good idea. Maybe steal this patch. Except he doesn't choose to steal that pack for some reason. I suppose he might have lost it to all these LNG Grenadiers actually. Anyway, it comes some more time on target artillery. That's going to take a very long time. Rooted has plenty of time to evacuate their vicinity. Another large waste of munitions there from Pitch Chalk. Oh, look at that heavy mortar shell there. Wow. Completely shut down all of Rooted's grenades here. And uh, Rooted has structured his final tech structure and is building a panther now. It should go well with this B4 command tank. Should have a good combination of anti infantry, anti tank, and of course, very durable combination mixed together. Grand tank giving the buff to the Panther making it even stronger. Boost up seven kills continuously barraging this area. Here comes the Katusha now. Just a couple hits on that. Captain worth it. Some tricky manoeuvring here from Lips. Got a nice, nice angle for his SU-85 to fire upon the Schwer HQ. I'd say Rooted needs to rotate his Panther around there once it arrives. It has arrived. LG Green's pushing out once more. This infantry is getting suppressed by the Schwer HQ. s 85 is turning tail and running. Wow, that priest is getting some good hits in right now. One more shell and that Schwer HQ is going to go down, maybe. Oh yeah, and he takes out the stem pioneers with it. Nicely done there by the priest. Jackson's here for support. SU-85 still facing the wrong direction though. It's two Jacksons here in fact, so they should be able to take on the Panther. So here comes a Shrek squad. Jackson's having a bit of pathing issues and now he's... What is he doing? He's turning it... The exact wrong way. What is... No! What is... What is that? Here comes the Panther. Finishes the job. Yeah, Jackson should have continued re retreating this way. I'm not sure what happened there. 
Down goes the Jackson. Nice snipe there. On the Panther. Command P4 making a push down the left. I was pretty much just sitting in their base at the moment. Is that a second Katusha from Leps? Okay, that's just a really, really bad idea. Definitely should have considered getting a T-3485 out. Speak this up a little bit. Oh, here comes the King Tiger. He's roaring straight to the center. Knocks out the priest. From Turbo Speed, boys. 285, not even on prioritized vehicles. Gets way too close to the King Tiger here. It's going to go down. Yep. Jackson's also goes down to the incendiary rounds on his rear armor. Wow. King <laughs> Tiger's taken engine damage. Taking a bit of guard fire to the rear as well. How much to follow up now, though? I believe everything's dead for the allies. Yep, nothing to uh, deal with either of these tanks. Two Kachusas was definitely a bad choice from Leps. Oh, Panther gets baited into the base though. Leps needs to use uh, attack ground, is doing so, and manages to knock out the Panther there. Black pants are called in by I like cute bunnies. Wreck and shop on all this infantry. King Tiger has been repaired. Return to the front lines. Tiger's going to die straight into the base here, and I don't see why not. Smoke pop there to cover the King Tiger's retreat. Not that, it's really in that much danger anyway. <laughs> and 105mm house barrage. It's just, oh no, that's time and take it. <laughs> yeah, finishes the job. Well, in summary, Allies did okay. They probably should have had a stronger early game. He did a pretty good job with his maxims in the early game. Especially the one stuck in this garrison really caused a lot of troubles for the Axis. As for his build. It wasn't very good at all. I'm not really sure why he went guard motor. It didn't, it didn't make any use of the T-3485s or Mark vehicles, as far as I could see. It did use the guards and the heavy mortars, but I wouldn't. If you're just going to go for those two uh, troops, I wouldn't really recommend guard motor. Well, I wouldn't really recommend guards anyway at the moment. Go for shock trips, then you can use smoke grenades, they're a lot more effective against machine guns. And uh, yeah, well, I'll finish the cast like that. If you'd like your game to be cast by me, details in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. 
Goodbye and good luck.